Well, everybody, here we go again. And by here we go again, I mean another Fox X-Men movie that may be the last one that we have before I, the merger. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect there to be another one. Well, okay. Funny enough, this one, from what I understand, is going to be James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender's last film as Magneto and as Charles Xavier. And also, it is probably going to be Jennifer Lawrence's last film as Mystique. So, I'm interested to see how they're going to send them off. And also, it's the Dark Phoenix. I mean, come on. It's probably one of the most hyped up and one of the most infamous and one of the most, like, requested stories that has ever been produced by Marvel Comics. And And they tried to do it in 3 and fucked it up. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, what? We don't talk about that movie. Yeah, well, actually, I do talk about parts of it, but there's... Dark Phoenix was in that film? Kind of. I thought it was just Jean Grey on her period. Sorry. I am so sorry about that. Well, it did get bloody. <laughs> uh, so, Kyra's just like, why do I hang out with these people? Explain, because... I period joke. I don't know about comics, uh, so what is... It was a, it was a period joke. I, I understand that. What is okay. the Dark Phoenix? <laughs> okay. I, mean, I don't know Go about ahead. comics so, either, so... Uh, what you doing? Jean Grey, very powerful... Uh, telepath. telepath, just very powerful psychic in general. Uh, the Phoenix Force is like this alien, like cosmic entity. Entity, yeah. And it sort of takes Jean over because hey, it needs a powerful telepath to be able to be host to it, and it basically amps her powers up to like oh. eleven billion. Uh, but it also makes her go. God damn crazy. Quite literally. Was this in the animated series by any chance? Yes. yes. Okay, I believe I actually have seen that. Yeah. There so, you go. You, different change of outfit. You know, her outfit was like... Like the the really dark yeah. red with, okay. the, with the Phoenix logo. Yeah, and, and, and there's some cases yeah. where Jean Grey actually gains control over the Phoenix Force and is actually able to... Like, make it not submit to her will, but make it work with her yeah. cooperatively. Almost, It's almost like a... Let's. It, it's kind of like a symbiote. If uh, the symbiote was like pure energy. Wep, weapon of mass destruction grade, and also pure energy instead of like uh, an anthropomorphic, or not not anthropomorphic, but like, like a, some sort of like gooey thing. I'm, yeah, some goop, some goop yeah. that you spill on your foot. Also, that just maybe had a random thought because we were talking about badass music and sound design earlier and mm-hmm. then i was just reminded of the x-men animated series and i was like that x-men animated series theme song though. Yes. <laughs> have you heard the japanese version i don't think so it is just you know what? as good we'll watch it after this yes please. Right, we'll watch it after this fair enough so okay the dark phoenix movie which interestingly enough the woman who is playing Jean gray is uh sophie turner aka sansa what from uh yes Sansa is playing Jean Grey. Well, time to let off some frustration, I guess. I guess. Oh, and then uh, there's not only that. Ty Sheridan, aka Parzival from uh, from the new uh, from Ready Player One, mm-hmm. is Scott Summers. Well, it doesn't really matter because Cyclops sucks. No, actually, how they've written him in this is actually pretty good. I'll believe it when I see it. Huh. <laughs> Okay, and of course, Nightcrawler's back, Yay. played by uh, not Asa Butterfield. What's his name? Ah, uh, damn! It's gonna it's gonna eat me alive now. I can't remember his I'm name. I'm sure we'll see it in like the end oh, card. Cody Smith McPhee. Cody Smith okay. McPhee. Uh, sorry, skinny. Good save. Uh, I'm sorry, skinny. You know, skinny white boy who always plays like sickly guys who just so happen to be secret badasses. <gasps> wait, sorry about that. Wait, you mean Doug Jones? No, 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 no. Because that's just Doug Jones. No, no. Doug Jones is a man. These are boys. Fair enough. What I mean is, like, very young. And I get him and Asa Butterfield confused because Asa Butterfield does that all the time, like, in Ender's Game and Cody Smith McPhee, same thing with him. And, um, that's a decent German accent. Kind of, it's kind of a, it's kind of a overblown in some, some ways, but it's okay. Yeah, but a lot of the portrayals, it's a little bit overblown anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, and, that's fair. And we also, you know, we get Jennifer Lawrence back, and we get, uh, and hopefully we'll get Quicksilver back. Ev- get uh, uh, get uh, Evan back in there because uh, I let because uh, I, I forget his last name now. Uh, but 
the Quicksilver scenes always get me. Uh, did you see the one from Days of Future Past? You know, I can't say that I have. Okay. I'm woefully behind okay. on those. But Actually, let's... you know what? You know, I've actually a bit only of a seen the recent ones for the most part. I, I missed like the first like X-Men trilogy, except for I think I might have seen the first one. Okay. But um, uh, I, I missed basically all the way up through where Ryan Reynolds played the bad version of Deadpool. Okay, you, you, you nixed out at a pretty good time. Yeah, and then okay. I saw like the newer ones this, after that with the okay, alternate realities and stuff. From Days of Future Past, this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, <laughs> Quicksilver. Story. Oh yes, this is like one of my favorite things about those two movies. All right, I know. so we got a bunch of dudes with guns, and we got a guy with. This super is them speed. breaking. This is them breaking Magneto out of. Not the Not to uh, mention, out of like, of the um, what's his freaking name? Like his real name, uh, Tate, um, uh, Quicksilver. Oh, uh, Evan. Uh, I, yeah, Evan is Peters. Evan, uh, is no, no, I forget his freaking. Is it? God dang it! I would have looked it up. Evan and... Peters. Evan Peters. That's what I said. Evan yeah. Peters. No, uh, but yeah, yeah, Peters? yeah. yeah. Okay, fuck. He did. Yeah, but he's like one of my favorite actors as of recently. He's a badass. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is the uh, Quicksilver scene. We're probably gonna get taken down for this, but hey, I'll probably just edit it out later in post production. Anyway, that seems wise. Okay, here we go. This is hilarious. And awesome, all at the same time. Plastic gun. Yeah. With plastic bullet. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do... <laughs> that is so dumb. I'm so mad about that. Boink. Boop. 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 Ha! <laughs> Yoink. No. And... Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> this is fucking funny. It's fucking fantastic. Uh, uh, he has a scene like this in the previous movie as well that was also badass. Well, yeah, actually, I'll probably show that one too after we're done because... I'm stealing your hat. Yoink. Woo! Well, in this uh, one, he's a kleptomaniac. He can't stop stealing shit because no one can see him. I think there was a reason for those guns too, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's because Magneto. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And... It's like, what a badass superpower. I know. And he's just like, so we good now? <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Pre-Adamantium Wolverine. Yep. So, okay, interestingly enough... The uh, Brian Singer wanted to use "Time" uh, by Pink Floyd mm -hmm. as the song here, but Roger Waters wouldn't give him the rights to it without like an exorbitant amount of money. That sounds yeah. like Roger Waters. <laughs> yeah, and then and then what they did was they instead found another song that worked. I think worked better. It was uh, "Time in a Bottle" by Jim Croce, which yeah. beautiful song by the way. And Jim Croce, a ta very talented guitar player, because this. He plays the lead sections while singing, and I'm just like, how does he do that? Uh, oh, well. But anyway, that's uh, that's Ben's introduction to Quicksilver. And Man, that's... That's a good introduction. That's a say? dumb scene, and I like it. Yeah. <laughs> like Keep in mind, lot. everybody, when Ben says dumb... That's so it means dumb! <laughs> good. It means good. Well, okay, so here's, here's what I have to explain. The coolest and most badass things... If you sit there and think about them too long, you end up realizing they're probably really, really stupid, but that's what makes them great. Yeah. My The best example I have for you is the monster truck. Yeah. <laughs> think about the monster truck. Who needs <coughs> that sort of device? Who needs a truck, just like a standard size truck, with tires and wheels that fucking big? You know, it's not no a matter one. of need at all, sir. It's a matter of pleasure. You know exactly. Yeah, you know who needs it? You know who needs it? America. America. Yeah. See, <laughs> uh, Wolfenstein, The New Order. 
Oh, that God. moment where you get the second assault rifle and you can dual wield assault rifles. That That's is stupid. gratuitous. That is so stupid and it would never work. But that's what makes it awesome. Okay. It's so stupid. But oh, it's great. God. So, all right. Shall we uh, Shall we dive into the yep. Dark Phoenix movie trailer? Here we all go. right. Hey, there it you is. You can fix me. Gene, you are not broken. Wow. They're going with the end by the doors. Well, uh, sort of a a re a uh, remake. Yeah. What did you do? I had to keep her stable. I protected her. Ah, fuck. Chuck. There's another word for that. I'm looking for answers. Hey, the Brotherhood. You feel like you don't belong here. You don't. Jessica Chastain. They can't begin to comprehend. Quicksilver. What you are. Storm. She's Beast. changing. And what? You didn't come here looking for answers. You came here looking for permission. Jean. She's all rage. It's all coming out at once. Jean lost control. Is she still our friend? This is your fault, Charles. The world is on the brink. I'm sorry. I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. And nobody cares. There's still hope. Don't do this. They're right to fear me. I've seen evil. And I'm looking at it now. Dang. Damn, girl. And they're releasing it in Fe What? Wow. Why February? Why not wait a few more months and release it or release it during the summer? Oh god. Well, wait a minute now. Look at the Marvels, like the MCU schedule. Okay, actually, I take that back because um, Deadpool came out on Valentine's, but that's fucking the Deadpool. No, no. Look at the MCU schedule and tell me what their schedule is for 2019. March is Captain Marvel, and then in May, uh, Avengers uh, four. So you can't go with May. No, May is out of the question. But at least like June or July. I'm not sure this is a bad decision date wise, I and know, here's you know. why. So, Go for it. Avengers Four will carry over for like a month or two. Avengers Four is going to be huge. Probably even bigger to be, than the previous one. Yeah, it's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, which means that releasing any time after that in the next like three <clears> months. <throat> You're going to still be competing with Avengers 4. Well, and also you're going to be competing. If you think about it, the number of people that had anything at all to say about the Ant-Man and the Wasp was very negligible. Yeah. And it came out like the next thing after Infinity War. Well, so no, I, I loved it. So, yeah, but I mean, well, like, how often do you hear people talk about that and not the end of Infinity War? Yeah. Well, oh, no. Uh, dude, people were talking the shit out of the end of uh, Ant-Man because it's just like, well, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, like. Oh shit! I mean, what's gonna happen? I was, but I, it's like I still people I still hear people talk about Infinity War more than more than I hear people talk about. Well, it's because you know, Infinity Ant War was the was not closure, but sort of. It's what they wanted to do with Age of Ultron. I know I'm gonna get shit on for this, and I do not care. And basically, what they did was they Empire Strikes Back, uh, the Avengers, the Avengers universe, mm -hmm. whereas. We in the first movie we got a sim, you know, a symbol. Second one we got splinters forming. Civil War we got the it we full, got it full on cracked. Yeah, full on, yeah, full on broken. And then 
uh, attempted reformation in Infinity War. And then they and were then like, nope, let's just break it apart and de- stomp on total the... Total fucking yeah. decimation. Yeah. And now, and then in Ant-Man, we sort of have not an out, but we have an outlier with Scott Lang and everything that happened in uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. But... Well, okay, it so... It remains to be seen. But I get what you're saying. Man. Yeah, I mean, but this may by be the releasing this move. before Captain Marvel, they're getting the jump on the comic book. crowd. They're now getting the jump on the comic book crowd because they they know everybody's going to go see Captain Marvel. Everybody's going to go see it, uh, Avengers, Avengers 4. Four. This <laughs> way, they get their market in before the MCU sweeps in and just goes, "This is ours now." It's also like if. Uh, if, or not Infinity War, but uh, the next Avengers stays in theaters for a long amount of time, and you end up having that release after the fact. Then um, it's, it yeah. has the potential to like cut into it because, yeah. because they do it's that like, with... well, we could go see the new X Men, which have been some people say have been eh, and some people like me that don't know well, anything about the comics are like, I enjoyed the fuck out of that. Well, but, apocal- um, well, okay, Apocalypse. Apocalypse was a little bit of a down note because it. It had everything in place that was good. It's just the execution I felt was a little bit lackluster. I, I still that's en- me. I enjoyed, no, I enjoyed. I enjoyed still. the crap out of it. I so. enjoyed it still, yeah. but you know it was a huge extravaganza. But it had to me the feel of Last Stand to some degree because, and that's not a good thing. Well, it no, it <laughs> not to the point of you know Last Stand being unwatchable. I mean, Last Stand to me is not unwatchable. Last Stand is actually a pretty good is actually pretty good on its own. Last Stand but has by a comparison lot of good to the first stuff two, in it. But co- by comparison to the first two, it's just like no. Like Last Stand, you have so much good stuff, and none of it works. Like you have Kelsey Grammer playing Beast. <laughs> which is the most perfect casting I can think of for Beast. It was glorious. Yes, I agree. Um, They got some of their silly stuff in because the actual line, I'm the juggernaut, bitch, gets said on screen. You know, you've got the whole Phoenix thing going on. And yet... It kind of sucked. So I don't. No, I I get you, and it, like I said, a lot of the set pieces and everything was in place. It's just its execution was lacking. Yeah. Now, okay. For so. Well, then, oh yeah, what I was basically saying ahead, though is ahead. like was if gonna... you put it out right after the next Avengers, and the Avengers happens to like carry over into like that amount of time, people would be like, "Well, we could go see the new X Men, or we could see Avengers again." <laughs> well, well also, repeat watch, repeat viewers, yeah. Yes. Also, if Avengers 4, heaven forbid, this is a hypothetical, please don't hate me. If Avengers 4 bombs. Mm. Which is very doubtful. Which is very doubtful, I, but. I think it'll make it, it's money, but I think it'll make a shit ton of money, but if the movie is bad. People have been waiting for the, like, the superhero movie Crash. It's coming. And and if it is Avengers 4, no one is going to want to see superhero movies for a while. Especially not superhero movies that have this is not been as movie. highly critically acclaimed You've in got the past it. as so, what, what, it, what just bombed. So. so... It's like, why would we want to see one by the guys who have been, you know, spotty at best... It, when the one by when the, the guys who've been nailing it left and right. Went, yeah. Actually, I halfway wonder if the crash didn't already happen. No, no, it hasn't happened just yet. No, no. Age of Ultron. No, not necessarily. See, I don't know. That just sort of popped into my brain and I went... Now, hmm. Age of Ultron was about that. Uh, Age of Ultron wasn't the crash. It was it was sort of like um you know uh Black Monday, you know the that panic. Yeah. The panic set in and thus 
uh, Marvel hit the panic button and got rid of Whedon as the director and instead handed control over the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, you know, the overall storytelling of the Marvel Cinematic Universe over to the Russo brothers, who have been killing it so far. Yeah. I mean, ever since they took over directing duties in uh, in Captain America the Winter Soldier, it's just been like, uh, like progressively getting better and better and better and better and better. And I like that. I like what they're doing. Can can we bring James Spader back to try it again as Ultron? Can we do that? I think the Ultron card's been played. Now, if Ultron well, does come back, the later thing on, is, Ultron doesn't ever go away. This is he true. never goes away. He this just keeps coming back. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> Which is just can can we keep James Spader, please? Because he was so good. I know. I I'm I'm upset that they wasted James Spader. Yeah, like on, how do you burn on, James? Yeah, and Spader? I know. Hey, a comment section. I can already hear you. Your fat fingers typing so angrily. Yeah, I got fat fingers too. Yeah, I can I can talk shit because I got him. Eat it. Um, anyway, <laughs> damn. Um, yeah, here, that was out of nowhere. He's gonna be on this for about five minutes. So no, no, I'm not gonna be on for about five minutes. If you want to be angry at us, go ahead and be angry at us. We're expressing our opinions, and if you don't agree with it, I don't care. You know what you can't be angry at? This dog. Look at this dog. He is so cute. Come he here, is... buddy. Yeah. Come here, pup. Come on. Come here, pup. Come on. Come here, pup. He's like, I'm, I'm coming. Come here. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, this. Kind of... th- for those of you who don't know, this is Peanut. I'm dog yeah. sitting. Peanut is good. Peanut is such Peanut is a such good, good boy. boy. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. He's so tiny. I don't know why people will get mad at us about our opinions on this because it's like it's just oh people get mad. It's at just things for time. fun. Why dude, you have to be mad, dude, this right? Is, dude, yeah, like, I know. Dude, yeah. This is the internet, Pe- dude. He's, people he's only will get game. mad. Dude, <laughs> people got mad at the Spider-Man game over a fucking puddle. Yeah. What? Yeah. It, yeah. It's not really over a puddle. It was. I understand what they were mad about. Well, no, no. Well, they <laughs> I that... need you two to explain right the fuck now okay, because you, what? You oh, you don't know about Puddlegate? No. Okay, they showed Spider Man uh, at E three, I think, mm-hmm. right? Originally, yeah, it was, uh, it was E three, twenty seventeen. Had the scene where they were like puddles on the ground and shit, and it looked fucking fantastic. Mm-hmm. It looked like a modern PC game in terms of the graphics. Yeah. And people were like, dude, that looks real good and stuff, you know? Yeah. So then, uh, more recently, like, was that like a month before the game released or less? I, I think so. Like yeah. a few weeks before it released? Like, they showed yeah. a, another screenshot and everybody was like, wait a fucking minute. Where are the puddles? That doesn't look anything like what you guys were showing us before. You remember the whole uh, Kill Zone on the PlayStation 3 scandal thing? No. Okay, uh, when Killzone came out for PlayStation 3, they put out a trailer, and they were like, this is going to be actual gameplay. And everybody and was like, holy it. shit, that looks fucking amazing. We, we actually had that big of a jump between 2 and 3, yeah, and they yeah, lied, they and lied. it was all pre-rendered. Well, no, um, well, actually, but this was basically people thinking they were doing that, because the, the so, difference in the puddles was like the puddles had like the reflections that like Battlefield 5 is showing with like the, the ray, mm-hmm. like you know how on the eyeball, like the reflections or yeah. like stuff like that. When in reality, what they actually put out was like the old school way of doing reflections where everything's built in a box, mirrored separately, and yeah. it just renders what it shows. Like, yeah. you know, and that's actually something that happened with um, the Two Towers reference that everybody thought that they put in it. Uh, mm-hmm. Because uh, instead of it actually being the reference they thought it was, it was the building you're standing on and the building next to it reflecting in itself. Yeah. Because it was just, you know, it doesn't always get the most accurate place. It just goes right. through, like, no. you know, a ballpark representation of mirroring right. stuff yeah. around and, you. And, and and albeit the graphics weren't downgraded, they just used a different, they just used a different means to, to do reflections. Something and that's al- a little yeah. bit more efficient. Yeah, and also, and also not only that, but they also did a, but they also did a, um, what was it? Um, they also showed at different times of day. Did he get like the one that they did in the E3 trailer was like midday. Yeah. Whereas the one that they showed later on was like evening. Yeah. yeah they, they were talking like, you know, um, they're like, oh, it's just just a difference in lighting and stuff. But I, I saw where people were like, it uh, looks like a little more than just lighting there, guys, and stuff. Like, but I, I mean, I, I didn't really care. Like, you know, I was... Well, people will get, well, like I said, people get pissed off over the most... Yeah, and name things. Well, I mean, people I'm, were super stoked for the game, and I was more like, I mean, that'd be a really neat game if it's anything like the Arkham games, you know? And like, oh, dude, so, yeah. It's, I mean, but some people lost their fucking <laughs> shit over that. I mean, of course, <laughs> because of course, because the, you know they want something to yell, uh, something to yell at. I'm gonna say three Outrage words. Outrage culture, my friend. Yeah. I'm gonna say three words, and it's gonna explain this entire thing. 
Good night, everybody. No, are you ready? Go ahead. No. Man's Sky. And that's all we have to say. Of course, I mean, I quite liked No Man's Sky, but I didn't follow the hype. <laughs> um, but anyway. Yeah. Same, same, honestly. Like, I mean, I want to go back and play it now that they updated it. Oh, too. yeah. They've updated, uh, no Man's Sky next actually looks ridiculous. The, the most disappointing thing about No Man's Sky was, for me was that I got it and I was playing it for like the full first day beforehand. And mm-hmm. um, I was working at uh, the music store in Kingsport because this was after our store closed. Yeah. And uh, I actually made myself late for work because someone messaged me on PlayStation Network and was like, dude, I just found one of your planets. And I was like, no fucking shit. And I was like, what are the odds of that? You know, like as big as this universe it's is supposed ridiculous. to be. Ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, I was so I, I was late for work trying to figure out a way to backtrack to get back there and see if we could see each other in game. They nope. didn't have a system in place where you could do that. Nope. No. There was no way. I couldn't even find my last planet to get to or anything. And yeah. I told him all my planets. I, I put my star chart up and I was like, dude, I got to go to work. I'm going to send you screenshots of this. And he was like, dude, I can't find anything you've been to. And it, it was ridiculous and it was that was just really disappointing to me because we had that like holy shit moment like where we actually found each other in that huge universe but then we couldn't quite find each other still which is what sean murray was like was like adamant about like if you found it it'd be a miracle yeah and apparently come to find out like even if we had found each other they hadn't implemented anything where we would actually be able to see each other anyways yeah so so it was pretty disappointing but, but all right. But now they have that, apparently. We've gone, we've so. gone for 28 minutes now. And half the time we haven't been talking oh, well. about anything, even X-Men related. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've put up 50-minute videos that don't talk about anything we react to. It's <laughs> true. It's true. <laughs> so. Renegades reacts, where everything's made up and the video doesn't matter. That's right. The video is completely irrelevant. That's why you have Music Girl and Caleb in the timestamps, uh, or down there to put timestamps in the comments for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, But you also right. have generic Let's Play Gamer who points out all the... Timestamps that something funny happens. Ah, uh, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Kyra. I'm Nick. And this is Peanut. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out. Uh.